Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 9th of 2024 is titled When Roses Aren't Red. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Rosette Nebula. And the Rosette Nebula, named for the rose, uh, here does not look very red. So why not? Well, in reality, if you took this in a full color image, you would see it as red, because most of the emission that you would see here is due to hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas, when excited by hot stars, there that ultraviolet light from hot stars, will give off a distinct red glow and we see that often in various different types of emission nebulae and that would include the rosette nebula here however this time it looks blue why is that well that's because that's the way this picture has been taken and in fact what we're looking at here is three very specific wavelengths what we call a narrow band image so broadband would take the entire spectrum all of visible light and give us a, a closer approximation to true color here we're looking just at those specific wavelengths and it happens to be the wavelengths emitted by sulfur hydrogen and oxygen and this is a common scheme that has been used to look at nebulae and it really highlights the actual gas over the stars because the gas only emits those specific wavelengths whereas the stars are emitting emitting a wide variety of light all across the spectrum. So in this case where we see greenish color that ties into where hydrogen is being most excited oxygen is appears in blue and the uh, sorry the sulfur in red so we see those three different colors then put together here. So one of the reasons is that this allows us to see more detail within the nebula and to see where these atoms are most prevalent. Now, that does not mean where you see certain colors that those are the dominant atoms there simply means that they are the perfect uh, set to be excited in that region. For example, hydrogen takes a certain amount of energy to glow. So if you don't have enough energy, you might have enough energy to excite oxygen atoms, but not hydrogen atoms. And that would allow you to see more of the oxygen blue colors that we see here, and less of the green of the hydrogen atoms. Regions where it might be a little bit hotter, you might see start to see the glows from the hydrogen there. And sulfur would be again another temperature. So what it is, is it takes certain types of light to be able to excite each of these. And then we're seeing where those are most excited. So we have we get to see where those are in this nebula. Now you notice the central portion of this nebula has been cleared out. Those stars emit a lot of energy, that star cluster that is forming at the center. And it also clears out their intense stellar winds and the radiation pressure of the stars start to clear out the nebula. So we're in the seeing that in process right here, we see that the central portion is relatively clear has been moved, uh, most of the gas has been pushed out, and tends to concentrate on the outer edges. That process will continue. And over time, over 100,000 years, eventually, all that will be left here is just those stars with just a few wisps of material of the this of this gaseous material left behind the rest of it will have been expelled far enough out and no longer glow and will just continue expanding outward through the galaxy eventually possibly combining with other clouds and maybe forming further stars in the future. So that was our picture of the day for February 9th of 2024. It was titled When Roses Aren't Red. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Ingenuity. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.